I'm here with Angela Yee, and I want to talk about your start in radio. You didn't always want to be in radio. Yeah, it was never my goal to do radio. I really was a marketing person. I really like in my head that I'd be doing something at a flashy advertising agency yes. with a huge budget, <laughs> taking people out to dinner and mm -hmm. going to conventions and wearing nice suits and mm -hmm. things like that. But um, I ended up getting the opportunity to do radio and I didn't want to turn that down. I think sometimes you get an opportunity that you're like, wow, this doesn't happen often. I have to take it. How did you get the opportunity to, to work in radio or your start in radio? Uh, Paul Rosenberg and my friend Tracy at Shady Records. I had um, I reached out to Tracy because I saw they were doing a um, they were hiring at Sirius for mm -hmm. the station Shade 45 that Eminem started. And so she was like, oh, yeah, call Paul. He deals with them all the time. So I called Paul and I'm like, hey, they're hiring at the station. And I wanted to see if you could just get me an interview with Sirius just to do marketing. It was a marketing position. He was like, well, you know, have you thought about ever doing radio? And I was like, no, but I would. And so I got my foot in the door that way. I got an audition, thanks to Paul. And then I worked there, like auditioning, probationary period for like three months, and then okay. they hired me. And so you started off on it. Like, did you test first? Or you, you? It was a test for months. Okay. It was like, they just, I remember the first day I came in, they were like, all right, we'll come in tomorrow. We'll see how you do. And I'd never done it. There was no direction. No one gave me any notes. I didn't know what I was doing. I just showed up. I remember they said the show started at eight. Um, and so I got there at seven. Right. No one was there. <laughs> I was like standing in the uh, hallway with the doors locked, like somebody come please let me in. And no, they showed up literally at eight. Who was on air with you at the time? Um, it was Cypher Sound Show. Okay. And so he didn't really, he knew me, but he didn't know me that well. Right. And so he was like, what's this girl doing here? Because it wasn't like he brought me in. Right. And I remember when I first started, I didn't tell anybody that I was doing it because I didn't want anybody to know in right. case I didn't get the job. Yeah. I didn't want anyone to listen until I got a little better. Yeah. And so I was just really secretive. And every now and then somebody would be like, I think I hear you on, on the radio. Is that you? And I would lie and say, no, it's not me. <laughs> That's so funny. How long did you kind of audition or with the trial period? It was like three months. Were you getting paid during this audition period? No, I was were getting you... unemployment. Because oh, I was going to say, how did you sustain yourself? How long were you there? And then and then you went to, you had your own show. You had like lip service. You yeah, had like a lip service. I ended up getting lip service while I was on the morning show with Cypher. So okay. I think that in general in life, I'm pretty good at picking things up. Yeah. And so I can start to do something and be terrible at it. And then I'm really like a fast learner. Okay. And so when I first started, I was just really like all in. I wasn't going out. I wasn't doing anything else, but trying to make sure that I was ready for my show every single day. And so I did so well. I had a segment on the show every Wednesday uh -huh. and it was like all girls talking. It was just us and it was fun. And it did so well. They were like, we want to give you your own nighttime show. Okay. And that's how I got lip service.